Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a day in the life of a real estate agent. Today, I have a very interesting video for you. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing today, which is showing eight homes. <laughs> and I have some kind of crazy bad news on two $1 million properties that I have under contract for one of my clients. And I have some awesome news because something good just happened. And on top of that, I just got a package here. I'm excited to show you what's inside that package once I stop driving and have a minute to relax. But inside that box is something that is essential for my business as a real estate agent. So I'm excited to show you. And yes, I'm going to open it for you live today. Right now, it's about 8 a.m. and I'm headed to Springville, Utah. It's about a 35 to 45 minute drive, depending on traffic, from Eagle Mountain. We're showing a couple houses there, and then we're actually gonna come back into Eagle Mountain and show some houses. But right in the middle of that, I have some complications. I am a coach of a third and fourth grade girls basketball team, and yes, we're undefeated, and today is the last game of the season, so I can't miss that. My clients are gonna allow me to take an hour and a half in between our showings to go coach that game, and in the meantime, I have two open houses for them to go see. So I have a tight schedule lined up today for all of us, but it's going to be a good, successful day. My goal is to submit three or four offers on these nine properties, and hopefully we get one of those. I know that seems crazy, but the housing market in Utah is insane right now. My last buyer, we'll call him Herbie. <laughs> We've talked about Herbie in previous videos, but Herbie is one of my investors. We've already purchased a home for him last year and it closed right at the very beginning of this year. We found him a seller finance client uh, to purchase that home from him. It was an awesome transaction and it's creating amazing passive income for him. So he's excited and we actually put another property under contract for him just this week. That's some awesome good news. But we don't celebrate until the properties closed because so often there's a horrible home inspection or things just don't work out. And speaking of horrible home inspections, as you know, I've put two fourplexes under contract for one client. They were both right around a million dollars, $975,000 each. When it comes to meth, there's actually a lot that needs to be done and most often the seller needs to bring in someone to professionally remediate the meth and make sure that the levels are acceptable. So after the cleanup is done, there will be another inspection done to confirm the units meet the Utah state law for acceptable amounts of meth in the home. That's the bad news. And once again, it's not something that I am worried about. It's something that we should easily be able to overcome. The good news, the home that I put under contract for just over a million dollars with my buyers from another country closed yesterday after we had to do a one week extension on the closing day. The sellers were not happy and they actually had a backup offer so they really didn't want to do it. I'm grateful that they did. So when you're coming from another country, often it's gonna take a lot longer for your funds to clear. My client sent $1.3 million and we find out five or seven days later that it bounced or that the money came back. After multiple attempts, the money finally started to come across. And <laughs> fortunately, our closing date was on Friday. The sellers made it known that they would not extend beyond that date. That was yesterday. On late Thursday night, we got an email from the title company saying that all the funds were there. My clients were able to sign the documents from Singapore <laughs> and we closed on time. So the house is funded and recorded. We have keys to the property, which I have personally. I'm gonna hold those keys for them because they had a medical emergency about a week ago and they're unable to get here on time. So I'm gonna meet them in about two weeks and give them their keys. In the meantime, that house is gonna be under my protection. I went there yesterday, made sure all the doors and windows were locked. I changed the keypad on the front door to a different number. That way nobody that used to have the number has any more, I cleared all the old numbers out because we don't want someone getting in that house, especially because it's fully furnished. I could see something bad happening there. So uh, over the next two weeks, I'll stop in occasionally to make sure everything's okay. Okay guys, before we arrive to the destination, I wanna ask you a question. What do you wanna see? What specific do you wanna know about being a real estate agent or about me personally? Please type your comments below. I wanna hear from you and I'd love to hear your questions. 
So you can see as we pull into Springville here, one of the big things people love about this area are these huge mountains. Springville is literally right up against the mountains. You can just see beautiful mountains pretty much surround this cute little town. I'm actually slightly ahead of schedule, which means I can pull over and open up my box because I cannot wait to show you guys what's inside. Inside this box is a tool that I consider essential for my job as a real estate agent. And I am extremely excited for this because they're extremely rare. Got my trusty, rusty pocket knife here. Probably had it since I was like 10 years old. But it still cuts through tape at least. The knife is actually really dull. I need to sharpen up a little bit. All right, here we go. Whoever shipped this did an awesome job taping it, over taping it. Okay, here we go. Put the knife away. Okay, you guys ready for this? <laughs> so here we are. What is inside all this paper? What am I so excited to have? Well, it comes in a black case. Some of you probably already know. A new pair of white Oakley sunglasses. Okay, guys, they don't make these anymore. They haven't made them for like 10 years. This is my last pair. I've always had a backup because I'm afraid when these go out, it's my trademark, right? The white glasses. So what do you guys think? They look good, hopefully. <laughs> You can see the lens is a little bit nicer than this one. I was super stoked. I went onto eBay and I saw these the other day. I only paid about $20 more for these today than I did for these eight years ago or six years ago or whatever. I think I bought these ones on eBay as well five, six years ago. So I'm going to scour eBay, continue to scour eBay to look for even another extra pair of these so I can put one in my safe because if I lose or break this pair, once again, I'm down to my last pair. We don't wanna keep my clients waiting. We're still about 12 minutes ahead of schedule, but I'm uh, a few minutes away, so we're gonna get going. Okay, people, so we have arrived to the first property here. Uh, something unique about this property is that it's being sold as is. For those of you that don't know, as is means that the seller is not gonna make any repairs. A lot of people say, well, we don't need a home inspection then, but that is not true. I always recommend getting a home inspection even in that situation so you know what the issues are with the house and what you're gonna have to deal with when you move in and look how awesome it is you have the mountains right over there and look you are literally right up against the mountains you could walk down the street here and just go straight up into the hills so that was one of the more interesting homes that i've seen uh very unique inside i'm gonna show you guys some pictures really quick here so now we are racing to spanish fork because uh, we're behind schedule. And why are we behind schedule? Because, uh, well, uh, the baby's not feeling so good. So uh, we just had a little throw up accident inside the house and had to clean that up. So that was basically our entire time in that house. We ran through it super quick. Now we're headed to Spanish Fork. <laughs> okay, so everything went great with property number two. I believe the first two homes that we've looked at both fit the buyer's criteria and they seem to like them both. Right here is property number three, but unfortunately they ran to the store really quick to get a change of outfits. But uh, fortunately we had a little bit of time between these two showings. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can stay on schedule because we are on a super tight schedule today. So hopefully this was the one space where we had a little time. So I guess we'll just wait for them to show up. Things don't always go as planned. Basically every single showing today, we were behind schedule. They couldn't make it out to our Eagle Mountain showing on time. I just ran through and did a quick video tour for them, which I'm gonna to send to them here in just a second. But now I am rushing and it looks like I'm gonna be about one minute late to my game that I'm coaching for my third grade daughter and her teammates. So anyways, I should be okay. There's two of us coaching. Okay, this is what you get when you first walk in. Start of the family room, walking into the kitchen. <clears throat> Pantry and then this glass door leads out to the backyard. Okay, at the top of the stairs, you got a bedroom here, bedroom here, 
you got your master bedroom over here and that bathroom here. And then of course you have a bathroom at the end of the hall here as well. Stepping down to the family room, you've got your garage. And then from the garage, you head down to the basement. Here's your bathroom there, a bedroom here, and another bedroom right here. It's kind of hard mixing professional life with family life. I think everybody has similar struggles, but I made a commitment to these girls and this basketball team, and I feel like as a husband and a father and as a coach, I need to honor that commitment. And to be honest, it's our last game of the season. And if we win today, my girls will be undefeated. I take a lot of pride in teaching these girls to be the best they can be. All right, guys, I'm coming at you as a conqueror. Yes, my team this year was undefeated. <laughs> Champions of the world. Well, of Junior Jazz Eagle Mountain anyways, but it was super exciting. Our team played extremely well. They wanted to be undefeated this year. They made up their own word called undefeatable. They were undefeatable this year. That's that. So now my hope is we'll be signing some contracts or sending off some offers here in just a little bit. That's it for this video. I'll keep you posted on any offers we submit if they get accepted or whatever, or if my client even decides to submit any offers. Uh, this would be our third time out to Springville. And the first two times, they didn't really see anything that they wanted to submit an offer on. We'll keep you posted on that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button below. Give me the old thumbs up to support me or let me know that I'm doing good. I would love to hear your comments. If this is the sort of content you're looking for, let me know. If you're looking for something else, please let me know on that as well. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.